Hello, welcome to Roll for Damage. This is our fifth episode, and for those that have seen me post things on Damn Scotty, you know that I love to scavenge broken toys from my daughter's room. Today, she decided to throw her Elsa doll away because her head fell off. Um, so that's super glued back on. Um, but in my campaign, I have two twin gods uh, that I need to uh, make things for. And I've previously posted uh, the statue that I made um, that I scavenged from a broken Barbie. Um, so, however, now I have two little Disney toys, Elsa and Sleeping Beauty. Um, so we are going to paint these gray and make statues out of them. So, this will be fun. Alright, so first we start by removing things that are specifically Elsa or queens and princesses and stuff like that. In this case, I'm going to remove their crowns and I started cutting hers off um, and I just want to remove any trace of a crown because my gods only one of them has a crown and it's technically not a crown it is um, horns uh, but one has a crown of horns uh, that are actually horns they're not it's not a fake crown she physically has horns that resemble a crown um, so we're going to remove that I'm going to stabilize uh, Elsa's head a little bit more. I think I'm just going to pull this back off and reseat it because I didn't like the way that looks. Uh, so I'm going to reseat this. I'm going to paint them black, primer black, uh, flat black. I'm going to put my first coat of dark gray on and then we will resume. Okay, I actually decided to um, record this just in case for some weird reason y'all want to watch people paint um, all I'm doing is just lightly brushing with a wide brush that way it covers uh, a wider area and doesn't fall into uh, the deep spots where I want more detail so I'm using the darker brush I'm sorry, the wider brush to uh to give it to give it that effect. Um, and it helps like if if the lines go up and down, you take the brush and you go sideways. See and, and that that covers um the the upper spots and, and it allows the, the recessed areas to hold that black. Um so I'm going to uh, finish doing this and then I will get back with you. Um, we're going to add highlights and we'll probably mount them on some kind of pedestals. That way I could have these in the campaign. I'll, I'll probably have to put them on a, a two inch uh, dais. Um, and fortunately I think I can also show you how to make one of those like my last video. Um, so, stay tuned, I'll be right back. Okay, and for my, my dark lady, I have to put her antlers on, or her horns rather. Um, all this is is the tips off of toothpicks. Um, and I just cut them off at the very points Um, we'll paste these on. Let me 
making sure they're on straight. Let's redo that one just to make sure. All right, we're gonna let her dry for a little bit. Um, now repaint her horns to match, and then we will be back, and I'll paint the highlights. All right, I'm back. They're both dry. Now I'm gonna take a hard brush, get some of my gray paint, make sure it's dry, and this is the light gray. This is this is gonna be highlights. And you just want to highlight lightly over the parts that would catch light, daylight, candlelight, whatever your light source is going to be. Um, you just want to highlight that area. Now, you want to use your light source. Um, so if you're going to have a torch in a certain area and you don't plan on using this piece in multiple uh, multiple games. Uh, I am, however, um, I'll use a statue frequently. Um, but if you had it in a specific spot, you would you would want to you would want to highlight. Say, if the torch was here, you'd want to highlight up. That way, the light looks like it's shining up on her. But since I'm just using her for a little bit of everything, just generic. Um, I'm going to just put her a normal highlight as if the sun was beaming down on her. And I'm just going to lightly hit these corners of her dress to bring those, make those pop a little bit more. Um, where it flares out from her hips, that would catch the most light. And then from that point, just work your way down. And once again, you see me going against the grain, rather. Uh, you don't want to follow the grooves of her all right guys and there they are i decided to hold off on painting the bases right now uh, there's a few ideas i want to kick around first um, but um, not bad for uh little figurines that she's just gonna throw away
Um, I'd like to give a special shout out to DM Scotty. Uh, I believe I had seen this previously on his channel. Uh, I'm pretty sure. However, if not, um, I apologize to whoever it was. Uh, but this has been done before. I wish I could take credit for this. Um, but I could not throw them away seeing that they would make awesome statues. Uh, however, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have also done this, please uh, post your pictures of your statues in the comments below. Once again, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you next episode.